Welcome to Adi's Education. Today we are going to learn about problem set 36. How to solve it. In this problem set, we have 5 sub questions and we have to write these fractions in decimal form and also read them aloud. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So, our question is, write the following mixed fractions in decimal form and read them aloud. In my last video, I told you that decimal fractions are fractions which have 10, 100, 1000, 10 times multiples of 10 on the denominator side. Here our first sub question is 3 and 9 upon 10. This is a mixed fraction and here 3 is whole number. 9 upon 10 is a fraction here. Now what we are going to do here we have to ignore our denominator and are going to write our whole number and numerator. And then we are going to decide how many decimal places our decimal fraction have. Let's solve it so we can understand it better. Problem set 36. Here our first question is 3 and 9 upon 10. As I told you. 3 is a whole number here, 9 is numerator and 10 is our denominator. So for answer it, let's take our whole number and numerator, write it like this. Now look at the denominator. How many zeros denominator have here? Only one zero. So for placing a decimal point, we have to left from our right side the places. Here we left one place for one zero. So we are going to left nine here and then we are going to place here our decimal point. This is our decimal point. A tiny dot is called a point. And this is our decimal point, 3.9. How can we read this? 3.9. Now, our second question is, 1 and 4 upon 10. Let's write it in our decimal form. 1 and 4 upon 10. Here, 1 is a whole number. 4 upon 10 is a fraction here. Let's write, ignore the denominator and write the whole number and numerator like this. Then we are going to decide how many decimal places we have to left. Look at the denominator for it. Denominator have only one zero. So we are going to left only one place from our right hand side. This is our right hand side and 4 is on that place. So we are going to left this 4 and then we are going to place here decimal point. Now our decimal fraction is 1.4. How can we read it? 1.4. Let's look to the third question. The question is... 5 and 3 upon 10. Let's write here 5 and 3 upon 10. As we know, 5 is our whole number and 3 is our numerator. Just ignore denominator and write these two numbers like this. Look at the denominator. How many zeros denominator have? It have only one zero. So, we are going to left 
one place from our right hand side so 3 is on that place we are going to lift it and then we are going to place here a decimal point 5.3 the reading of this decimal fraction is 5.3 now let's look to the fourth question it is 8 upon 10 8 upon 10 here they give us only fraction it is not a mixed fraction so just ignore denominator write our numerator here numerator is 8 now we have to left one decimal place here and then we are going to put a decimal point here because the denominator have only one zero now here we have to put our decimal point and here is an old whole number so we are going to put a zero for it now our fraction is zero point eight now fifth question is 7 upon 10 here also that doesn't give whole number so just write here numerator look at the denominator how many zeros denominator have only one zero so we are going to left one place from our right hand side and then we are going to place here our decimal point and for whole number we are going to put here 0 so 0 0.7 is the decimal fraction here this is the solution for our problem set 36 hope you understand it very well practice it take many more examples write them in decimal form and practice it very well so see you in next video thanks for watching this video thank you